Uh, jolly good. Hello, it's England. Hey, what's up? It's Texas calling England. Bet you thought it was America. Why don't you suck a bag of dicks, England? Eat shit, Texas out! Click. Well, <laughs> my word. Do do. <laughs> Oh, you beautiful people, it's the middle of Tuesday afternoon, and you know what that means. It's got to be go time for a daytime night attack. Hello, beautiful <laughs> citizens of the world. Joining us all the way from the UK, it's Justin Robert Young. I'm Brian Brushwood. What is going on, JRY? The pound is at a historic low, and I am taking full advantage of it. Can we can we take a look at that Photoshop again? Because I enjoyed how much uh, white privilege was crammed in there. <laughs> it, that breaking news says U.S. Brexit exploiter Justin Robert Young, quote, living like a presidential candidate after Brexit or after the pound collapses. Uh, how's it feel, man? Uh, and also, it points out on DCTV World News that Knobs at Night will begin tonight. <laughs> and I'm very excited for that. Uh, yeah, no, literally, I booked this ticket as soon as Brexit happened because I knew that the pound was going to take a giant poop. And indeed it has. We are in a 30-year low right now as we speak. And I have a gigantic Guinness. I'm already drunk, and we're doing night attacks. See, I feel like I had to balance the scales. At least it makes sense that you're drinking at 10 p.m., but but at 4 in the afternoon, I just had to crack open this Lone Star. And, of course, the only way to truly feel like I'm drinking in Austin is to be joined by Get Set Go's very own Mike TV. Hey, hey. Oh, what? damn! <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your current band what do you tour as what what so uh so yeah so say it with a bullet is now on i think permanent hiatus it's fine uh, yeah, yeah hey, hey, say it with a bullet great guys in fact yeah, love them so much marrying one yeah, of them yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. later this year <laughs> um but yeah so gets it so gets it so basically i am now get said go like yeah. the band that, that that is i mean there's been so many people in the band since its inception. Just remember, power isn't granted, it's assumed. Yes. That that's gets, it's, it's not like Get Set Go is going to call you in the middle of the night and finally bless you with the mantle. You have to seize that thing. Yeah, well, that's, and then in order to make sure that they don't actually try to, re, you know, take it back, I've eaten all of my full of memory, <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, delicious. Uh, to delicious co-writers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my well, I mean, like, like, honestly, like, when are you just going to be my TV? What? Like, I, I, are you waiting for you well, to have an amazing name that everybody remembers, like well, Mike TV? Well, the thing is, is it, is it like there's actually a band called Mike TV, so I can't like I can't mm. actually put out albums as Mike TV. So, but the thing is, but, is but like, what about Michael Television? Yeah, well, that's and the thing is, so I, there's another that's, band. Well, no, no, named no, no, Michael Television. No, no, I, I mean, I, I do, I have, I have kind of like set up the Michael Television, it, thinking about maybe segueing into that. But, but I've spent so much time building the Get Set Go brand. You know, like it's tough to kind of like I, I tried doing that with with Television in Summer. Uh, Eric and I did a little side project album, and I was gonna, I, and I was like, hey, let's see how this does, releasing it as Television in Summer. And then like two years later, I'm like, no, it's a Get Set Go record. So no, ah. so. so <laughs> So well, Television Summer it, it, became the name of the album, not the name of the band. It's it's not it's not um uh get set go, it's not like there are any band members that are going to feel like they deserve that title yeah, or that you're yeah, you know, yeah. hey, stop preserving our legacy, jerk. Yeah, like no yeah. nobody's like that. No, yeah, no, yeah. The thing is I mean the only I think the only person that might have been like that at the, from the out at outset was my original bandmate Pat uh, Pat. And you took care of him. Yeah, and then and then yeah, I, well, yeah, I ate his heart, <laughs> his still beating heart. And uh Kalima. Um Nam Shiva, yeah. Um yeah, and so and so you know, and I, but you know, he's yeah, he's he's kind of moved from the world of music um a long time ago. And so yeah, so it's just like been smooth sailing ever since. I've just been able to like so, abuse and, and exploit my bandmates pretty much <laughs> nonstop. Well, I mean, this is this is the adorable side effect of being lovable, kind, thoughtful, and and helping everyone around you is that nobody cares when you want to take the band name and run with it. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah, no, of course, go. You you've been the heart of all things joyful in our lives. Uh, so how has it been? You're you're what a year and a half, two years? Yeah, you know, being in Austin now. Yeah, yeah. I I, th I think it's actually pushing. I think it's like two and a half, pushing three. Um, cause I, I moved here in, t in late 2000 or the middle of 2014. Right. So, so in May of, in May of 2017, it'll be three years. Just as night attack went independent. Yeah. As a matter of fact. Yeah. yeah. 
And um, and so yeah, you know what? It's really funny. So the first like the first couple of years, it was or for the first year and a half, it was like the 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 floor was kind of dropping out of album sales, and it was just a really scary. I was like, what the hell am I gonna do? Like. I moved. To, I moved to Texas, thinking that the money I was making would be, allow me to like live like a king, and then the money stopped showing up, and I'm like, wait, what's going on? But it's been awesome. So the thing is, like, so, I, but I, I think I've kind of fi- finally have it kind of figured out, you know. And so it's just now a matter. It, like things have been growing, things have well, been building. Well, because co- correct me if I'm wrong, it's like there's always been multiple vectors. You could count on a certain amount of royalty payments yes. from, you know, like your music showing up on Grey's Anatomy. You could count on a certain amount of cash from doing live gigs at local venues and so on. Uh, but nowadays, that landscape has had kind of an earthquake happen to where now, uh, like, can you uh, do you do live shows on Twitch still? Well, no, I do. No, no, yeah. In no, fact, no, in but fact, that, but that, but that's listen. That earthquake's been happening. Sure, since sure. He's like I was talking about like ten years ago because like the idea of oh no, I'm a band. I make my money on people playing my music when doctors are sad. Like <laughs> that was a crazy thing. Like that it wasn't MTV or the radio or anything else. Right. Sure. Sure. Like, sure. Uh, and now you have this this situation where I mean, listen, Google it right now. You just moved to Austin two years ago. If you Google it, you will find out that Austin is the capital of live music in 2016. That's a tremendous achievement. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, you know, and it, but it's really funny because like I got when I got to Austin, and I've dropped off. Uh-oh. Oh wait, no! no, wait, no we, wait, hear wait, we hear you. We can hear you. <clears throat> and we're verifying. In fact, our fact checker right now is looking up whether or not you're correct. It, but it, I think Austin is the capital of Texas. Uh, no, it's yeah, the live no, no, music capital. It, of the, type in so, the, the so live music capital do, of they, the world. Yeah, yeah they yeah. do. The thing is, is that like they actually do have more more live venues per capita than anywhere else in the world. Well, and not only um, that, I remember uh, like uh, when I was first trying to. Uh, uh, this is late nineties, early two thousands. I was just looking for for places to get up on stage and do some magic. Yeah. So I I opened up the uh, Austin Chronicle, our local alt magazine. And went through and counted, and on a random Tuesday night, there were a hundred and four live bands That's awesome, yeah. performing in Austin. And it just made me think of every other person in the cubicle down the road for me who everybody had a band. Yeah, 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 yeah. And in, that's... In, in fact, I, I ran a memory. Uh, I, I remember finishing up a show with my dad and walking down the street, and we found a blues venue and this old guy got on the uh, the piano and started rocking it was amazing yeah. and then I tweeted about it I was like whoa an old guy rocked on the on the piano <laughs> and then somebody like like admonishingly was like yeah, you just saw Pine Top Perkins, the last surviving member of the Muddy Waters band. Wow! And I was like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's like they're and not I was lying. Like, Clear this asshole off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that old guy is pretty okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, I was that, yeah. I was that uh, asshole. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, Mike, you got a new album coming out, right? Yeah. No, it, it actually just, it hit stores um, a couple uh, last week Friday. Um, so where do we go? Where and, do I go to buy so, it right now? It, and you can you can get it anywhere. Um, Amazon. Yeah, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna go to Target. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm going yeah, to yeah. Walmart.org. Get, yeah, yeah. Mostly you can get it at, at convenience stores. You just find. Uh, <laughs> no, all right, no, no. Next name to, name next the one the place that you want it to trend. Name iTunes. Name Amazon. Yeah, yeah, like pick where one. Do you want we it to trend? Buy it. Well, the, all right. So, so really, really truthfully, the, like, um, I for me, like, I, it's. I know this is gonna sound very, very weird, but. Um, I th- I suggest that people people just check it out on Spotify. The thing is, is or, or do some of the like like everybody. The world is moving towards live live streaming. Yes, and yeah. where should we buy it? <laughs> okay, so, all right, so okay, so to buy so to buy, I'd suggest Bandcamp. The thing right. is, is like, is like it, it, it's because that's the most money to you. To me, yeah, to me, yeah. So, so if yeah. you want to, if you specifically, you're like, I like the record. I specifically want to help Mike out. The thing is, is that like then, then definitely, then definitely buy so, from Bandcamp. So, yeah. so then let's get a Bitly. Somebody in 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 the chat room. I'm, get a I'm bit going to Bandcamp.com right now. I typed in "Get Set Go" and I see True Crime Television. Is that the one? Uh, no, it, it's uh, it, it safe as houses. It, it's no, it's called uh, Get Set Go. It, it's called uh, Death and Taxes. Mm. Is it called? Uh, so the somebody ABC in the chat realm, <laughs> like, let's get a Bitly that goes so exactly to that album. Yeah. Uh, Mike so if you go to it's songs from it. it's Get Set Go L A. dot band. Yeah. Yeah, 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 which is awesome because I no longer live in Los Angeles. No, so. no, no. Actually, just change it because now that you have a higher Hispanic population in Texas uh, than, than you did in Southern California, oh, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, guessing, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, just call it Get Segola. Nah, get Segola. Get Segola. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Andale, Andale. Uh, all right, so, so uh, Mike will be playing more and more from that. Hey, by the way, we have a special guest. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, creeping through your window. 
Oh, oh wait a minute. ladies and gentlemen. Is that Will Harris? Oh, hey. that was a bad idea. We have Will Harris. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> it's a night attack. Somebody call the cops. Get the bobbies out. <laughs> Evening debauchery. I'll tell you what, I can't think of a better time for us to maybe do a quick musical break. Mike, uh, is there a song from the album you'd like to play for yes. us? Um, yeah, yeah. I'll uh, hear them. Let me, let me... Do you know, Come on. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Do you know how many times I've got laid thanks to Mike TV? Oh, really? Oh, how many? Oh. Tell, 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 the, tell the fine computer. The, the Get Set Go album. Yeah. Like the premiere album that yeah. everyone knows with like... I hate everyone. Yeah. Yeah. I have been laid so many times to that <laughs> album. Dude, it, that's it, awesome. It, <laughs> like, it is like the sex tune du jour. It's the sex tune du en. I'm missing. It is this like, is all the way across the pond. This is happening. That's awesome. This is how you know that it's legitimate. Awesome. Yeah, that is awesome. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, look, you know what? Why don't we prove the seductive power of your music by allowing these two to have their way with each other oh, yeah, yeah, while we yeah, listen yeah, to yeah, a cut right, from right. the new album? All right. <laughs> so this is, the t this is the title track. It's called Death and Taxes. <laughs> She's coming for me Yes, the reaper She's coming for me She's clad in black and white And there's nothing in her eyes, nothing at all But the tax man Got there before her Yeah, the tax man got there before her. He took most everything except the song I sing. He took it all. Oh, my dealer, I'm waiting on her. Yes, my dealer. Beside me, yes, the devil. He walks beside me. Jesus loves me more, but the devil, oh, I'm sure, got there before. Oh, the reaper, she's coming for me. Yes, the reaper. Coming for me She's clad in black and white And there's nothing in her eyes Nothing at all Oh my good god Hot damn That is haunting shit man Thank That you. is great I mean number one I am very glad that Mike You have listened You have You have Uh Uh Lived a life of a professional musician That has brought you to many places but I'm very glad that you are now writing in the very lucrative field of songs that are specifically written for Quentin Tarantino movies where <laughs> Uma Thurman kills Michael Madsen. Yeah, that's, 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 I decided to really drill down and focus on Let's my target. Let's just drill yeah. down yeah. to specifically yes. the point where inevitably 
Quentin Tarantino will make another movie where Uma Thurman kills Michael Madsen, <laughs> and this is the song that happens that, yes. while it happens. Yes, that's that's that is exactly that. That's crazy that you that you that you would, you would zero in on like target that hit that. That's my exact target market is just specifically Quentin Tarantino. Tarantino. I mean, listen, like, like there is like in all in all honesty, like I am I am such a huge fan of especially. Uh, the the kind of country music that drills into kind of the the soul of country music of like just the the loneliness the man on a mission like yeah. kind of elements of it and like that speaks to me on a level that uh, only when I see you will I be able to kiss you like Will Harris kissed me second <laughs> well, ago, and, and, and uh, I'll be able to show my appreciation. That's one of my favorite things about Bike TV is that <clears throat> you're you're so funny and smart and clever, and of course we always have you on when we do the the movie drafts or whatever. That I get tempted to forget that you are talented and capable of conjuring <laughs> haunting poetry. <laughs> Thank uh, you. I especially love the personification uh, or the genderification of the devil as a female and uh, and of, of death as a female. At some point, yeah, maybe. that's so. Yeah, that, that's the, actually the, the devil one. I, I I switch that up from time to time just because I I, I like the I, you know, I, I like, How, however you're feeling about Katie. At yeah, the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no, 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 yeah. But uh, but yeah, but the, but the, the, certainly the, it's really funny because the the uh, the devil or the the death reference is actually a reference to. Uh, the Neil Gaiman character of death in the comic Sandman, right? right. So that so she's so she, the idea with the, uh, like I black and white, but the thing is a bit for me. He he conjured up a a, a death that he thought uh, who would I want to meet when I die. And yeah. for and so for me, I was like, I'm gonna turn that kind of on its ear and and be like, you know, I'm gonna meet her and I'm like, oh, this is great, but she's gonna have like she's gonna have empty eyes. like there's there's no there's no compassion, there's nothing, it's just death. And I'm like, oh, okay, so I'll so it's just you know like, I, 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 has anybody done a personification of death that is um, super understanding and wholesome and like, like uh, as, as a grief counselor, <laughs> like basically <laughs> somebody really good at handling transitions. Well, well, Except you know, they're not good at winning board games. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We've seen that movie and it was amazing. Uh, Bill and Ted's bogus journey. We're all talking about, right? It was awesome. Of course. Yes. No. Yeah. Yeah. Best four out of seven. <laughs> Damn yeah. right. <laughs> Uh, dude, well, uh, man, I'm so happy. I, I'm glad that, uh, it, so I, I guess at this point we could say Austin's working out for you. Yeah. So it, it, it really, ha I mean, it's really funny because the thing is it, it's sort of like an, it's sort of like a, a, like a many layered gift that I'm still kind of unwrapping. So I still haven't really gone and explored the live scene too much. And, and so I'm just now kind of getting to the point where I'm like, all right, I'm going to start playing some shows and I'm going to start getting out. Getting so the, so I have that whole a whole and I've been meeting musicians and all of them people that I've been meeting are super talented and real sweethearts which is great so so I'm I'm really looking to over the next handful of years kind of build what I did in L A but build it in Austin build find a good scene. community all right all right you want to know what yeah I'm I'm drunk and I'm in <laughs> London and I'm gonna make a, a statement are you ready for it yes and Brian doesn't know it nobody knows it except me <laughs> I'm coming to Austin in December for a wedding. What? And right now, my flight comes in on a Thursday, but I could easily change it to a Monday. What do you say? We do a live show in Austin where you play, Hell and yeah. either we introduce you on either end or we do... A little night attack. Oh, thing. oh you're no, talking about doing or, another night no, attack live. And, yeah, and we could. Well, I we should totally get you guys. We should do a little collaboration and do a couple of songs together. Some answer and call and some shaker and tambourine and like you know, but we could definitely, yeah. By, could, by, by the all way, all right. So here, what I'm saying is, I'm committing to doing a show with Mike TV in Austin in December. Awesome. And Brian is welcome to watch. <laughs> I and, assume. And, oh. and Brian is literally there, so he's a dick if he doesn't show up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would that be would that be two live shows in Austin in the same year? It would yes. be. It would wow. Be. Right on. Okay, dude. Good on well, us. Yeah, yeah, you know, Look at uh, us. Yeah, onwards and upwards. On the road. Right? Yeah. On the road. Yeah. This is amazing. <laughs> I mean, uh, but this would be this is this is a Mike TV show featuring. Brian. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Mike. Mike begins by saying, uh, "You know, I work real hard on my music, and I think about what it means to uh, have the human condition. But what I really needed is two assholes talking about their buttholes before and after I sing. <laughs> yeah. Please welcome yeah, yeah. Brian and Justin. Brian and Justin. And then we're like, hey, but by the way, have you seen my butthole? Holy <laughs> smug. Oh, did you shave it? I, yeah. I'm putting on a British accent. Take my butthole, please. <laughs>
<laughs> so, um, uh, oh, hot damn, man. It's so good. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm going to segue this properly because I'm a segue sure, master. Good. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. We did a song together. We're working on the album, trying to figure out what yeah. goes on the album. One of the things that seems like it should go on the album, we have to get permission for. Oh, okay, sure. Steven Cogswell is helping us with the music stuff on there. He's uh -huh. got some remixes stuff, real good. Uh, and he is involved in this track. You were involved because you played it. Oh, So I have yeah. to get your permission. Oh, okay. Remember when we did the country music version of the uh, Bikey Wars oh, song? Oh, yes, yeah. yeah right? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. And then also, there's a third party that I suppose, Justin, we should bother to get their permission since, you know, they wrote the song, made the yeah. music, and then yeah. we're doing a parody of <laughs> named Auntie Donna. Yeah, although, no, they, they, they're in the pocket now. I, I got them into the Magic Castle last week. So, like, they're good. Oh, so it's all over. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know. We're good. If I had known, I wouldn't even bother bringing it up. I, like, like, we own them now. Oh, no. Yeah. No, no. We're good. We're good. Uh, do we want to share with everyone what it was like? Because, of course, we had Auntie Donna on the podcast last of week. Of course. You want to know what, Brian? We should, but only after we bring up that patreon.com slash night attack is where you can support this show. Folks, I'm basically blackout drunk right now because <laughs> I've been drinking for five hours. It's in London, which means that I've had time to do it. But if you would like to show the same kind of dedication I showed him, show then you should go to patreon.com slash night attack and kick us literally 50 cents i don't know if that's nope. possible anymore anyway. it's it not no in fact it's a, it's a brand new, make it's a, it a dollar make it a dollar but set your monthly goal to our monthly limit to a dollar and you will give us 25 cents an episode do the math I know it's hard. I'm really glad we I could get to... Tron on this episode. Of <laughs> yeah. As as if it was meant to be. The moment you've said blackout drunk, you've descended into pixelization as you've returned <laughs> to your digital form. <laughs> uh, so there we go. Patreon.com slash natic. Uh, yeah, man, dude. Uh, thank you to everybody who has continued it, uh, continued it to uh, <laughs> contributed. Oh, the, oh. the cash. I have an update, or uh, I have something. We we were talking about this with the other shows. Go on. Uh, now we are including the pre-show and post shows. We have special RSS feeds just for patrons. Just for patrons. Uh, so if you are a patron of Night Attack, patreoncom slash Night Attack, uh, you can get a special RSS feed of audio versions of the pre-show, the actual oh, show, cool. and the after show. Oh, that's wonderful. In one feed. Uh, uh, and I so think that means that, mean, that means just plug it into your podcast catcher, and you just get it ASAP. And, yeah. and it's not like a protected feed. You don't need to log in every time and give it a password. It is unique to you. Uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, this so, is the this yeah. is one of our big bitcheroos. Well, well, good yes. I, bitcheroo. Yes, no, it, bitcheroos. I'll say bitcheroo. Uh, it's been a real bitcheroo, and ain't <laughs> yeah. it? Yeah. No, but, uh, no, no, no. I like the way that Nishkamp says it. No, it's a bitcheroo. What, what is it? A, a bitcheroo. Yeah, a you gotta say it American. There's a yeah. very casual. Hey, listen, bitcheroo. it's a real bitcheroo. Like uh, you would hear it, you would hear it. Like uh, well, in Q4, we had some real bitcheroos. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's a real bitcheroo. So it is. Listen, <laughs> the problem with the RSS is, is we got to give the unlisted uh, YouTubes uh, and whatnot. Yeah, so, but not anymore. Don't have to deal with that. You can get it in a podcast catcher. Hell's yes, hell's awesome. yes, hell's thank yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much to Josh. And, and, and by the for, way, Justin turning that around super quick. Justin was making a joke about it, but truthfully, if you if you don't want to give us like their new rules are, everything has to be a dollar an episode, which I'd like That's to think we're worth. But uh, but you can just set you can set a dollar per episode and then set a monthly limit of a dollar if you don't want to actually give us any money at all. But if you're that guy, just. Think of how you're going to feel about Kick yourself. Kick a buck, when baby. We... I mean, listen, we're here for you. Email us personally. We will affect your life. That is all. This is a show that is rattled by its community on a daily basis. So be a part of it. It's up to you. New York, New York. <laughs> all right. All right. So uh, uh, let's take everybody through the adventure. Can, can we? Can we th maybe this is a bit ambitious. Can we, can we write a musical right now of what it was like to have our adventure with Auntie Donna? Is that, is that too was that, was that Was that Bryce moaning? In that, that, was, that, that, was Bryce, <laughs> that was Bryce audibly moaning, but I don't know. I think we got the goods. 
Uh, I mean, I, like considering the fact that I've already like derezzed <laughs> once, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to sing on cue. It's, it's, but uh, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll do one of those talking over the music bits. You know, one of those like interstitial things. We'll never I, quite I, get I, to I the I feel chorus. like I feel like how about this? How about this? Let's tell the story, and when we have a moment that feels like it <laughs> okay. needs a musical element, you can cue my TV. That works. Uh, All right. Uh, so, so how did it begin for you? Well, we got drunk, way too drunk, during the show uh, when Auntie Donna was on last week on uh, in L.A. And let me let everybody know, the only thing standing between us scrubbing that show for technical reasons and it happening is Bryce and then dot, 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 Tom Merritt. Like, those were the only two people who were so patient that they didn't just want five people who were very much getting along with each other and would have been perfectly happy to just talk on a couch slash walk to a bar and keep talking, make that a show. Like we were, uh, Brian, would, be honest. Would we have been willing to just be like, huh, you know what? Some shows happen, some shows don't. Gotta leave. <laughs> yes, okay, that's that's astonishingly close to our attitude at the moment. But I'm, I'm not proud of it, but like, uh, you know, of course but, we but, have- but, but it happened. But it happened. Right, right. No, no, no. We have an obligation to the patrons and so on. So I I, I got to be honest. Like, I would love to, to hear from the chat realm uh, on screen. Like, uh, there was somebody who tweeted saying, like, hi, I'm listening to your show. I don't really understand anything that's happening, but you guys appear to be having a really good time. <laughs> and I was like, is, is that good? Is that yeah. bad? I don't I don't know. Uh, well, number one, it, if I went back and listened to a bunch of Auntie Donna's podcasts. And the good news is we did the best version of their podcast. <laughs> in, in that it had a beginning, a middle, and an end. And then we in stopped that, to thank in the that patrons. Periodically, there was somebody there to say, hey, what were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I did the same thing. As I dove into their podcast, like, it begins in the scene and it ends with fuck you. And it ends. <laughs> yeah. No. And, like, literally the only time that they came back to anything was when they had a who was going to tell them about how they first got fingered. Oh, really? I, I, yeah. I haven't heard that one. No, it's the newest one. Like, there's somebody saying, hey, I hear the story. Uh -oh. and, 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 like... Oh. Uh -oh. oh. Mm. Mike, how good of an impression can you do of Justin <laughs> yeah, Robert Young? Yeah. I don't. I, I, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you have to. You do have to match this. Match this face that he. he I, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't. If you could encapsulate uh, Justin Robert Young in uh, a musical entity, knowing like, he's let's say he's that. gone and dead, he just exploded, and now there's only you. Yeah, yeah. yeah and I so you need channel. to conjure his his oh, essence. Oh Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Uh, uh fuck. I love this picture. Oh, We've got Justin for the video viewers. We've got him uh, holding tea in his hand, about to uh, join us. Joining us on the line, it's the spirit of Justin Robert Young. <laughs> I'm Justin Robert Young. I'm from Florida. Wait, 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 A7 Florida. Um, but I'm drinking British tea because I'm very... <laughs> oh, so cuddly. Because <laughs> I'm oh so, so cuddly. I, I'm Justin Judge. <laughs> Justin Junchy. <laughs> Justin Junchy. I'm trying to make remember the Munchy Cheese. Munchy Cheese. Also soft and cuddly. Munchy Cheese. Mun also soft and cuddly. Yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I, uh, uh, Justin, are you feeling this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm back. Hello. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, all right, I switched back to audio only just in case that was the problem. Uh, okay, so we did the show with Auntie Donna, and we were super yeah. stoked. And uh, we're like, uh, and, and we knew that, uh, that that Tom's wife was feeling under the weather, and so she needed us to skedaddle as soon as we could. And so we yeah. were like, hey, let's go to the bar down the, down the street. Oh, my God, what yeah. am I seeing out of the corner of my eye? Oh, this is uh, the freeze frame from when Justin lost. Yeah, no, no, no. Lost. This is the freeze frame for when Justin lost, but but it is shockingly close to the... <laughs> to the Jesus recreation. <laughs> to the recreated Jesus. <laughs> well, I'm sure that won't get photoshopped. Um, That's awesome. So, the uh, uh, at any rate, we went down to uh, Louis uh, down the road, and then we, uh, we slipped into... 
uh, I don't know. We got stuck in stuck in a funk, I guess. We uh, we suddenly started proselytizing. I mean, not not a funk, man. We went into full. Uh, have you heard the good news that <laughs> Patreon is indeed reborn in your heart? <laughs> well, and 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 then they're like, oh, Patreon. I I would like to subscribe to your newsletter. What, what's this Patreon? And then we responded by talking their fucking ear off for like thirty minutes about how great Patreon is. Yeah, we should talk about how great we are instead of Patreon. <laughs> yeah, it should have been a lot more of like, anyway, we're great. Billboard comedy albums, like doing live show. Oh, I mean, like you guys are doing a live show. That's pretty cool. We've done live shows too. <laughs> like, you know, could have done that. But instead we just talked. I mean, like, I don't know. I don't know what it is about me and you, Brian. Is that like we are constantly like, I mean, I think it is a good sign for us that like we just want others around us to be happy. Well, yeah, and because so, we like, are without joy in our hearts and we're going yeah. to die alone and lonely and we want somebody, if anybody, to do better than us. That's pretty yeah. spot on. That's, yeah, that's... Well, I mean, and also it's like, it's like, well, we can make money, so why couldn't they? <laughs> why, right? why couldn't they make money? I mean, the a lot. Government... And, and also, like, people, like, I during that, like, conversation we were having with them, I was slipping into John Stossel and Brian or Tom was calling me out on it. So I had to do John Stossel, which is really awkward for a bunch of people who have never actually seen John Stossel talk in their lives. Oh, they know That we're Stolsey. doing the John Stossel bit. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, OK, so let's skip to the uh, the important part. The next day we're walking to the gig. We're in the middle of downtown and yeah. in the middle of L.A. Somebody hey, stops. Wait, hold on, wait, wait. Can we get to the one embarrassing thing about Auntie Donna? Sure. I mean, is there one embarrassing thing? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. There's, there's, I think something that would stand up to judgment. Okay. Rank, based on our conversation, Auntie Donna's favorite Batman movies. Oh, the fact that he loved the uh, Batman and Robin. Dark Knight Rises. Oh, no, all of them as a unit. Yeah. Dark Knight Rises was the best Batman movie. The one with the. What's his name? The, the king. We're mine. I'm Dante Donald's favorite Batman movie. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. That's fine. Like, uh, that's... is it? No, no. It's. Not, I mean, come on. There's I mean, one the, movie like the that is Clooney? head and shoulders better than the other two, right? What, and you can okay, debate. But well, I'm, I'm open to debate which one is second. But there's one that's the best. Uh, wait. Which one is the best one? The one with the Oscar-winning performance for the villain no uh i'm 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 actually on their side on this one this is you and me we're gonna split these here where uh, my my favorite is actually batman begins i'm sorry then then you disagree with them well i mean i disagree with all of you but i'm i'm accustomed to that third party voting this too exactly uh (laughs) uh, gary johnson (laughs) says You're like, oh, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm taking a principled stance on this. And I believe that uh, Chief Gordon would ask, what is Aleppo as well? <laughs> so, uh, okay, okay. So we're walking up to the Auntie Donna concert. Uh, and I guess, it, I don't know, it felt like a concert, the live show. And uh, we get stopped on the street and somebody just sort of freezes, full body stops, looks at me and Justin, looks at me and says, excuse me, are you the guy? <laughs> From the modern rogue. It's very charitable that you said looks at me and Justin. Well, okay, all right, all right, all right. But but the point is he didn't say scam school. He didn't say he didn't say hacking the system. Night attack. He said the modern rogue, (laughs) which by the way, please subscribe at uh, bit.ly slash modern rogue channel right now. Uh dude, no, that 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 made my day. And then uh and and I made sure to tell everybody, including you guys just now. (laughs) Uh, but then we, we showed up at, at the gig <clears throat> and then decided to go, okay, can we talk about the Hail Bob thing? Yeah. All right. So uh, hands up, millennials. Who knows what Hail Bob means? Hail Bop. Bop. Hail Bob. Hail Bop. Yeah. Like isn't, that, bop? isn't that a song by the Hanson Brothers or something? Hail Bop. Hail Hail Bop. Hail Nikes. Hail Bop. We're in the same room. Mike, 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 Mike. Violence is the only song that the Hanson Brothers know. Oh, yeah. Bop is the only song that Hanson, the band, of brothers knows. That's right. 
You're right. The Hanson brothers is uh, they're the they're the hockey guys from Slapshot, right? Indeed, yeah. indeed. Even older than the references were. Yeah, yeah, I know. Jesus yeah, Christ, I, I, you I guys know, yeah. took a next level here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and by next level, you mean AARP. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, so uh, there is, all right, so Brian, how would you describe this, uh, this, this uh, billboard? So, okay, there's a billboard for something called Hail Bob, H-A-L-E-B-O-B, uh, which I assume throw a dot com on it uh but but it looks like spring fashions and, yeah and we're trying to figure out like like sexy looking white lady yeah right like reclining in some very airy spring wear okay uh okay so uh and 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 we're trying to figure out like who would my guess is there's not a human being whose name happened to be hail bob but my guess is somebody put together a fashionable company trying to figure out a name that would vaguely resonate That's and sound be an familiar. It's an acronym. There's gotta be. It's gotta be like. It's How spelling. many names do you need to make an acronym between H A L E B O B? Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of uh, seven, uh, what, what is it an acronym yeah, yeah, for? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I can't. I can't. Can I say? Here, yeah. Go, yeah, yeah. Scroll, scroll up so we see the word Hail Bob, so he can tell uh, us what it's an acronym for. So it's uh, Love Hab. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Hail no, no, no. All right. So wait, uh, uh, real quick, because I can't see the chat room because I'm audio only right now. How many people in the chat room right now, honestly, know, remember Hail Bop? I mean, I, I did and do, and I was surprised at how many of our uh, fellow chat realm members we, we all, all were there also. But right now we're seeing um, about two thirds saying yes. Uh, yes. By the way, and, for those and, of you who don't know, if you're if you're tiny and young, then just know that Hail Bob. Yeah, Bryce, was a bring up some pictures of those lonely white Nikes. Yeah, dude. Uh, so Hail Bob was a comment, and it's it's coming to America, for uh, portented <laughs> to the to the cult. <laughs> if I, uh, right here. So while while Brian says this, with, uh, trying to to deal with the ducking, I will just lead in with a. Flying to America. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to do uh, uh, the uh, uh, Neil Diamond coming to America. No, everywhere from the cosmos, <laughs> we're coming to America. <laughs> do, do, do. Drink, some, drink some Kool-Aid and prepare yourself for the ascension. <laughs> we're coming to America. We're in Nikes and we're whites. <laughs> it's coming to America. Uh, A troubling echo of Jonesburg. We're coming to America. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So anyway, a bunch of people. So anyway, themselves. the nineties had some weird cult things. <laughs> yep, yep, there, yep, was there was a cult. Waco and there was, uh, uh, Jonesburg and then Jonesboro, there was, of right? course, Hale Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so Hale Bob was the comet that, that portented the coming of it. It was thought by this cult. There was a UFO in there. So they all kind of killed themselves wearing Nikes of all things. And I guess how, how long has Hale Bob been around as a fashion company uh let me see let me google my thing if there's a Wikipedia. it's on the nordstrom rack it's on yeah it's on the mm. nordstrom rack so you know it's a uh, uh, classy so you gotta know wear hot. those hot spring fashions they're coming please don't kill yourself while wearing nikes <laughs> now there is a phil a british philosopher named bob hale yeah the opposite of hale bob <laughs> Uh, um, there's, there's that ever, ever, Pedia? is that going to have any Oh, maybe this, uh, here we go. Founded by Daniel Bobot. Bobot. Uh, right. da, 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 da. <coughs> we don't have a year. When, when did it launch? So okay, wait, we don't have one. Uh, we can call the phone number. You want to call your phone number? Three, two, three, eight, three, five. And the rest. We can. Okay. can. Can we call them? Let's right. call them. Go ahead. Go ahead. Call, call them. them. Call them right now. All right. Uh, but you've got to explain that you're calling from uh, China. Yeah. No. Only only Bryce. Bryce no, is no, the call. No, no, no. No, you, no, no, you, no, no, you, no, no, you, 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 Justin. No, 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 no. Not me, Bryce. Actually, I, go ahead, Bryce. 
Yes. It'll Bryce, be go. Great. Bryce, go. And I'm just I, I to... can't be. I, I, I might drop out at any time. Bryce, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna... just, just find out. Find out why. Well, I'll be quiet. Well, I'll be find quiet. Out find out. Much. Ask them. Ask them why they're disrespecting the memories of your dad. Sure. <laughs> and, and also, uh, if you can squeeze it in there and mention that we're live on the air. Go ahead. Yeah. And, yeah. And that they're being recorded. I don't know if that's illegal or not, but just call them right now and ask. Right. But for the record, they, Texas your is a one-party recorded yeah. state. Yeah, oh, I'm just sorry, ask what, them. Just what, tell them like you're their fuck. Oh, uh, uh, is this is Haley Bob? Yes. Uh, uh, oh, great. I I was just wondering, um, uh, uh, what what sort of fashions you have? Uh, women's wear. Oh, uh, women's wear. Oh, okay. I was thinking because of the Bob, it might be, uh, uh, you might have some men's wares as well. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, hey. Uh, uh, can, also, can you settle a, a quick bet? H uh, when was uh, Hail Bob uh, founded? Like, how old is the company? The year? Yeah. Uh, wait, I've been here twelve years. Oh wow. More than twelve years. More than twelve years. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. Oh, great. Maybe four, more than fourteen years. More than fourteen years. All right. Well, uh, great. Well, th what was your name? Uh, this is operator. Oh. calling, please. Okay, great. Thank you. <laughs> she bailed. She, that chess move, you just got blocked. You're like, it's operator. <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> it's peace out, bitches. <laughs> ah! oh, <sorry>. <laughs> <clears throat> um, did she so it's longer than 14 years. <laughs> I, I, um, where, where are we at, Justin? So uh, you saw oh, no, people are yelling at me while Hellbar. I'm trying to uh, stealthily come back up to my recording position from peeing while Bryce was on the phone. <laughs> of course. It's good. It's good. So you saw a billboard for Hail Bob. Yeah. Well, and it just made us wonder. Hold like, on. Like, wait a minute. Holly Bob Bryce, is how she said How did you not bring up the fact that that's a like that they named a fashion line after a suicide call? <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I was waiting for that discussion, but it, it apparently didn't bubble up. I, I feel like you need to call them. No, 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 no. I mean, like, I feel like there's just one more call that needs to be made that just references the fact that there was a suicide call. That is named a suspiciously similar name. Well, I mean, they didn't name themselves Hail Bob. Uh, they were Heaven's Gate was the cult. The yeah. comet was Hail Bop. Yeah. But when we looked at that women's clothes wear line, we were only what thinking did of one we thing. think? We thought of we thought of dead people wearing Nikes. We thought I don't know because by the way, her feet were out of frame, oh. meaning she might have been wearing Nikes. Might have been wearing <laughs> you know, Nikes. So do you That's think it's point. do you think it's that sort of like like death and sex are the things that sell? So they're like they're gonna put a little sex in here, and then we, how do we incorporate a little death into our name to make sure that we? Yeah. Like, uh, you, you know what? All right, all right. Here, here's the deal. Only. Um, uh, uh, Bryce, we can we can figure out one way out of this, and that is if Mike TV does an impression of Bryce and just asks that one question. Why they name themselves after a comet that people killed them? Well, if, 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 like, yeah. we're not going to put, we're not going to cast dispersions on them. If it is true, as it is said on the internet, because we are indeed <laughs> saying it right now on the internet, <laughs> that they name themselves after the suicide cult Heaven's Gate that worshiped the comet Hail Bob. They didn't. They didn't technically worship, worship the comet. They thought there was a UFO behind the comet that was obscured from vision. Oh, uh, Eek Baba Durkle. Look who has all the all the differences in opinions. Uh, all, right, all right. So what are we hoping to get from Mike? Uh, an impression of the. Let's just say an impression of Bryce. Yeah. Who's going to call that same number and just ask the question that Bryce? Oh no, no, no! Don't call. It's good. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Call. So I'm gonna. All right, I'm gonna call him again. Um. Here, uh, here. Oh, this is so much trouble. I don't want to. So you want oh, but it was cool when you put me but, up to it. But all you, right, I see, <laughs> I see what it is. So do you want? So all right. So so is is the is the impression the most important thing, or is getting the information the most important? No, thing? No, no, no. Oh, get, getting the, imp the, okay. the information is the okay. most important right, thing. So here we go. But as much of the impression so that you can speak, do speak. is appreciated. Speak, 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 speak. Yes, hello. I was calling. Um, I we we had some confusion regarding the, the name. It's, it, your name is pronounced Hallie Bob. Is that correct? Hallie Bob. Hallie Bob. 
Um, is yes. it, is there is, is there any um, reference to the actual um, the ha- the Halibob comet that that uh, that, uh, that that w- that showed up in the mid nineties? Um, we're we're just very uh, curious. Uh, Haley, Haley, the comet, yeah, it's kind of. I think it's called after that. Oh, it's actually named after that. Please? Yes, I'm. I, th- uh, this is uh, Bryce. I'm actually the uh, the fellow coordinating. I, I'm calling from a show. Uh, it's it's a show called. Uh, uh, hey, oh, it's it's a, it, the show is called Hang Up. Sorry. <laughs> I was gonna come up with some names and like Jesus see. What, I wanted to get an interview. I wanted to. Do, I wanted to see. <laughs> I wanted to just get. I thought it was going to be awesome. My name is Bryce. I'm calling. That's my impression. That's my impression. I see him, Bryce. Also, we're located at address. Well, no. Oh Oh, my god. Oh my god. Stop, please. I didn't mean anything by it. <laughs> Give me my phone back. Yeah, yeah, no, his phone goes no, back. No, 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 no. I can do this. No, I can do no, this better. No, no. <laughs> I can do this better. Over there, there it is. <laughs> hey, Mike TV. What do you say we hear another song from? Yeah, <laughs> please. Let's hear this song from his album called "Why I've Been Sued Into Oblivion" by oh. Mike TV. <laughs> okay, so all right, so let me, so let me let me just say this real quick. So, um, I've been playing these songs for about six months now, but. Uh, uh, the, I don't actually have the lyrics memorized. <laughs> Would you like me to Google them? I'm, I'm going to go to rapgenius.com. Any lyrics with Hale Bob? And uh, and and, I, so I gonna, I so I was gonna I was gonna print them up so I'd have them as reference. But I I, I literally work a day job a, a couple of days a week, and I was working today until yeah. I literally left work and ran raced here. So I actually don't have a lot of songs from the album that I can play by rote. Um, so I'm gonna, so, but I do have, I do have a couple. So, so, so no, I, I, well, fuck it. Let me, let me let's, <laughs> let's see, if, let's see, if, let's see if I, this is a sing along. This is a sing along. All right, and, right on. Uh, we go. And we're down for literally. Hey, hey, right, ladies have, and gentlemen, uh, hey, uh, uh, Mike, what is the name of that song? This is this is called Edgewalker, and 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 I and I so I, I I might fuck up the lyrics again because I just don't I just don't remember them, but um but but I, I know if if there's some people that, that wa- are from the Twitch show that that watching like if Steve's on or like I know there's I know there's definitely some people that are that sure. are huge Nine Attack right. fans, ladies they, and gentlemen, they might know the lyrics and if they can put them if they can put them on, they, they, <laughs> they can in, help in you the out because you guys all this is a sing along so you, all right so so all your right, so your so, your, so your so part is, your part uh, is going to be. And gentlemen, this is a song about masturbating pretty hard, but not too hard. It's Edgewalker by Mike TV. <laughs> so, uh, well, I would first I, I have to give you your part because you're going to be singing along. Oh, got it, got so, it. And, and you're gonna, and so, so what you're going to be doing is, is, is let's take a walk out to the edge. Let's dangle from the precipice till our last breath. Let's take a walk. So that's your part. So yeah, to the Wait, edge. Let's, let's, let's dangle from the precipice till our last breath. Dangle so, from the precipice till our till, last till, till our, our last breath. Our breath. Last yeah. Breath. Right. So mm. all right. So so you're gonna um. So you're gonna uh. So you're gonna sing that. You you get a couple chances to like to to uh, to to basically practice that. But it's the outro. I'm gonna be singing something else, and you guys will be singing. You guys will be singing that. So got it. All so right. I'll, I'll, I'll cue so, you. Here so, we go. So one more time. It's it's. Yeah. Let's take a walk. Take a walk. Out to the edge. Out to the edge. Let's dangle from the precipice till our last breath. Let's take dangle a walk. Dangle from the precipice until our last edge. breath. Yeah 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 yeah. So here we go. So let's take a walk. Precipice. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Dang, yeah. Let's take a walk. There you go. Out yeah. to the edge. Yeah. And hang a little. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, you got you it. Know. You got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, ready. So there ready. we go. There Let's go. go. It's going to be great. Edgewalker. It's going to be great. All right, Let's go, everybody. People. I, I need everybody out there to say like I can I'll tell if, if one of you is, is just watching and not singing. Yeah, I dude, will get ready know. to type that. In fact, why don't you why don't you have those ready to control yeah. C? All right, well here here we go because I can't see any visual cues. Let me let me let me just give you the uh, the, the Saturday Night Night Live intro. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Mike TV with Edge Walker. Slip away. What can we do? There's your part. Let's take, take a, a walk, walk out to the edge. 
Let's, let's dangle let's from the precipice till, till, till our last breath. breath. Let's what take a walk. Yeah. Out to the edge. Hell yeah. Let's dangle from uh, the precipice uh, till our last breath. Yeah. Oh, you know that it will be alright. You know we'll feel alright so very soon. Oh, you know that it will be okay. Just let it slip away. What can we do? Oh, you know that we are getting older, but we are getting better looking. Close your eyes, another new surprise, another something wicked is a cooking. Mm. To the edge. <sighs> Not yet. Let's take a full yeah, yeah, precipice yeah. until our pledge. Is yeah, this, this is the this is the rap. Yeah, the 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 rap. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In the, the rap bridge. Yeah. yeah. Uh, here we go. Oh, you know that it would be okay. Just let it slip away. What can we do? I've already sing these lyrics. Oh, you know that it would be alright. There's something, something then. There's something else. Let's take, take a, a walk up to the edge. edge. Let's dangle from the precipice to la la's breath. Let's take a walk. Take a walk. Up to the edge. Let's dangle from the precipice to la la's breath. Oh, you know that it will be alright. You know we'll feel alright so very soon. Oh, you know that it will be okay. Just let it slip away. What can we do? Oh, you know that we are getting older, but we are getting better looking. Close your eyes and nothing new. Another something wicked is a cooking. Mm. <sighs> Alright, so here we go. So now this, this is where we're going to do the rounds. Alright, ready. So, oh, you know that it will be alright. You know we'll feel alright so very soon. Oh, you, you know, know that it, it will be okay. Right. No, this right. Oh, sorry. Away. What well, can we do? Here we go. Let's take a walk, let's take a walk up to the edge. Let's dangle from the precipice to la la's breath. Let's take a walk up to the edge. Let's dangle. You keep this going. Let's take a walk. Oh, you know that it will be alright. You know what to do. Let's dangle from the precipice to la la's breath. Let's take a walk. Oh, you know that it will be okay. Just let it dangle from the precipice to la la's breath. Let's take a walk up to the edge. Let's dangle from the precipice to la la's breath. Oh, you know that it will be alright. You know we'll feel alright so very soon. Oh, you know that it will be okay. Just let it slip away. What can we do? Let's take a walk up to the edge. Let's dangle from the precipice till our last breath. Let's take a walk up to the edge. Let's dangle from the precipice till our last breath. Let's take a walk. Woo! Dun, 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 dun. Hot damn. <laughs> Vote John Kerry, 2004. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> uh, that's, I, I'm so excited. Oh, my God. Oh, that is... Uh, I, I'm literally okay. So just know this: if you <laughs> literally this okay. on your earbuds, you was on your earbuds, you are having the same experience that I am, <laughs> and all I am doing just listening to the amazingness without seeing any element of it or how it's coming together. That was a magical moment. Uh, awesome, awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's fun, man. Uh, yeah, and that and that song. I mean, it, like, uh, it's it is a lot of fun when when uh, when you get people, everybody singing. Sometimes, like, you know, occasionally when I'm playing it for people live, I can get two like all three parts well, happening. Okay, and like, then like, it's while awesome, you were singing you know? that, like all of a sudden, I thought like nothing's changed. We're still all just hominids S yeah, the same, yep, singing yep, around yep, a campfire. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The fact that we're doing it on the internet with you know thousands of people <laughs> <laughs> recording it's over so digital awesome. devices while so other members awesome. of the band are in uh, the other side of. <laughs> the planet it's like we're still just gonna sing a song in the round that's yeah, amazing yeah yeah that, it, that really is. in fact that's that's one of the things i think has been awesome like i so i've been doing these twitch i'm doing now five days a week what i'm doing i'm doing like a like a two or three hour playing twitch hearthstone show. yeah it, it, no, no, I'm playing music. All the yeah, can, but, can you can you but, sing a song about each card played in Hearthstone? Yeah, <laughs> where it's just like, oh, coin up and give a shield and many bot like we didn't see that coming. 
No? I love I love the way that you air guitar. <laughs> <laughs> like it's just it's so like if you yeah. if you just pull your hands in, it's the creepy pat thing. <laughs> like, like you just <laughs> I mean you just roughly yeah. mime a guitar yeah, sure, and then yeah. you and then you, you just, curdle yeah, your fingers. Yeah, 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 yeah sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, the chick who played Pat uh has an amazing one woman show called really? Letting Go of God. It's talking about her spiritual journey going through from uh, Catholicism on forward. In fact, wait, you uh you saw that the same time I saw that, right, Justin? <laughs> Yeah, like nine years ago. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That, uh, just the random Pat reference made me uh, uh, think about that one moment. <laughs> no, yeah, no, and the, no, no. And the weird fact that our paths uh, crossed. I can't remember her name right now. What's her name? Hey, yeah, what's her name? What's her name? What's her name? What's her name? She was in. She was in Pulp Fiction too. Uh oh, she is. Yeah, uh, Julie, uh, Swe- the- Julie Sweeney. Julia Sweeney. She's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. Julia Sweeney. Uh, she, no, she's, yeah, no, she goes, she's she goes the wolf's- to breakfast with the wolf. Yeah, she's the, the wolf's girlfriend. Spoiler alert. Yeah. And, no, no, no. She's just the son of Monster Joe, who, oh, yeah. who disposes the bodies. Got it. And at the end, she's like really sassy. But she, she does like, like just she- because you have character does it, or sorry, just because you are a character doesn't mean you have character. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then she also does the uh, like I think she did the Goodnight Gracie thing. Uh, in in that anyway, it was a uh, real interesting. That's a story that doesn't belong in this story. <laughs> so let's talk about when we were drinking. Diamond time. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hold on, well, dude. Are are we really gonna skip over the best story of of this entire uh, experience that we had when we were just hanging let's out? Let's go. With... Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. All right. So we watched the show. We're really, really impressed. It was really good. This and... is again the Auntie Donna show. For those of you who aren't following through the prank calls and the musical prank, <laughs> we are again in L.A. where Brian and I are watching a comedy show by a bunch of very talented. Australians called Auntie Donna. Uh, let me just say this. If you are anywhere near an Auntie Donna live show, you need to go see it. I have seen so much live sketch comedy. Like, it is ridiculous being part of the, like, sketch comedy scene in New York in, in the early odds for the five years that I was. There was not a sketch comedy show that I did not see at that time, and I feel like that was a representative sample to see how good and bad it can be auntie donna is exceptional it is yeah, as dude. good as the best i've ever seen yeah uh, oh. uh like like their whole energy it was like a shotgun blast to the face of comedy where it's like it was high concept stuff also they they did the the whole you know rubbery dancing physical comedy stuff which which i oftentimes and turned off by but i was just completely bought in on everything they did with that uh, it's just so well written. Like everything what? goes somewhere. Every little thread is a thing, and like they're, their show is so well structured. Their bit, their bit with improv, Ellen, which is common, doesn't stand that. Uh, their bit with Ellen was extraordinary. Made Ellen, me so so happy. Like Ellen DeGeneres. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like really? bro, it begins with Broden sitting on a stool, just saying like, "So anyway, I'm I'm Ellen, and this is a sketch about me being Ellen." And then he just goes on and does <laughs> Ellen from there. Uh, it was it was amazing, utterly amazing. But when it when it finishes, there's this brief moment that there was a YouTuber who uh, I, I I mean I found out after the fact that she was a YouTuber. She walks up to sure. me, yeah. me and Justin. There was something about her. There were like two things about her that really stood out. <laughs> there were two things about her. We are uh, Justin and I are are hanging out. Yeah. Just, Basically being assholes because, like, we don't stand in lines and we don't want to look like we're cutting in line to join the rest of our yeah. Diamond Club community who's in line. Yeah. So we kind of hover about the line. This is when people who are waiting in line do take pictures with Auntie Correct. Donna. And talk to Auntie okay. Donna, okay. right? Yeah, yeah. And, so, and so we're just, you know, horsing off doing our, our, our shenanigans. And then uh, and then I, I guess – or she walked up – I wish I could remember her name. Uh, it's, it's in my – Penny f- Underbust. Uh, oh, what is it? Penny Underbust? Yeah. Yeah. Penny Underbus. See if you can find her. She walks up and she says, uh, excuse me, can I take a picture with both of you? And then we're, and we're like, uh, why? Do you, do you know who we are? And then too much to my surprise, she says, uh, yeah, you're Brian Brushwood and you're Justin Young. Is that it? And, and, yeah. and wow. he goes, yeah. Yeah, that's the one. By the way, uh, <laughs> Bryce, oh Bryce. I pulled up a Twitter and <laughs> Bryce I saw a very something busty up and he May cosplay and I was like, this could be it. But I just want to make sure. Yeah, yeah. Price, Price is pointing to the screen, like, like, wait, wh- uh, her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's, uh, <laughs> so she walks up, and uh, 
and then and, and it turns out that she's very and she pointed out she was like yeah you follow me on Twitter I was like yeah I follow a lot of people on Twitter <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> uh, and uh, at, at any rate um, then we end up uh, uh, you know getting up to the front seeing the Auntie Donna boys and they're like hey well everybody to- everybody gets through and and we but let's let's pull back the curtain yes we knew that this was for them primarily a showcase not only for la industry people which is important but we knew there were some comedy insiders that were going to be there as well yeah but but uh you know but they were hoping that a few people would be there and chief among them one person right yeah okay so they say hey uh come to the vip party uh (laughs) hold on time out I just realized I called it a VIP party. <laughs> and uh, uh, sorry. So anyway, they're like, come to the VIP party. Uh, and uh, they're like, Eric Idle is inside. Oh, wow. Yay. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, millennials. Awesome. Eric Idle was a member of a very influential British comedy troupe called Monty Python. Yeah. So if you thought that he wasn't you're yeah, wrong I, I love money part you're wrong. hilarious <laughs> so at any rate so so we find ourselves drinking in this very small establishment with eric idol and then uh and That's then i awesome. believe i believe you saw tim minchin in there is that right justin so no i'm walking out of the auntie donna show and uh i'm walking behind this dude and i'm like man this white boy dreadhead emmer effort like really looks like he has some tim minchin dreads and then you know, he's like talking to somebody and they're like, hey, c- come on for a drinky. And uh, Tim, or what, who I, I don't know is Tim Minchin yet, is like, oh, I don't know. I'm Tim Minchin. I don't want to come for a drinky. <laughs> Which leaves. is a weird thing for somebody to say because never have I said, yeah. oh, I don't know. I'm Brian Brushwood. I'm not sure <laughs> yeah. I want to have a drink. <laughs> and then next thing you know, I see a picture of somebody else with Tim Minchin and they're like, hey, Tim Minchin was at the Auntie Donna show. And I'm like, well, guess what? That dude with the fucking Tim Minchin head was Tim <laughs> Minchin. <laughs> <laughs> At any rate, it was amazing. Getting, getting... I mean, it's LA. You you never know. I yeah. mean, listen. Also, I was very, 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 very excited about that because, like, I love the idea that like Aussies are standing up for Aussies, and like, no matter where in the world Tim Minchin is, he needs to fly to America to support Auntie Donna during their <laughs> show in LA. Um, but no, it was like a very in all seriousness, like a very extraordinary kind of moment because, you know, Auntie Don is obviously a group. I mean, they're young. They're like four or five years younger than Brian and I. And, uh, you know, they're, they're at a point in their career where a lot of things can happen and they can go a lot of different places. And this, these kinds of shows are in legend, the shows where like gigantic things can happen. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, it, it's it, they killed it. They did a great job. They obviously got great feedback from everybody there, uh, including, but complicated by the person that they wanted to see the show. Uh, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, like, uh, one of the greatest compliments, and I assume it's the same in the music world, but in the comedy world, one of the greatest compliments you could do is actually pay attention to somebody else's act and give your honest yeah. feedback yeah. about it. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, and, uh, there was two guys, it was Eric Idle and I, I don't, I'm not familiar with the other one. It was Dylan something. He, he's, he had a, it was a Dylan M. It was an M word for his last name. M word. Um, That's their word. Dylan, uh, uh, Morris. McDermott. No, not Morris. McDermott. Yeah. Dylan McDermott. No, no, it's not Dylan McDermott. That's a different person. No, 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 no. Dylan McDermott. I, I think. When you think from it was Peaks? a DM. It was another famous British comedian that all the British people or Australian people knew and American people didn't. And right. by the way, I've asked like seven other like super huge American comedy fans about that dude's name. And I'm forgetting it now because I'm drunk. But like nobody knew his name except for the British people. Right. So Dylan McStuffins. Huh. Uh, they they all know him in England. Who's, who's a huge fan with Eric Idle. And literally for half the party, it is just... Eric Idle and Derek McStuffins talking to each other alone at the bar when eventually the the uh, stars of the party, Auntie Donna, eventually gravitate toward them. 
Right. Well, and, and and that was the adorable thing. Like Zach was just like like oh I don't know, I don't know I just don't want to bother yeah, them. But yeah, it, yeah. It's like I, motherfucker, I was, they're there for your show. Yeah, yeah. You need to. Well, I was like, also, do I need to also, set this up? Listen, like, like for them, that's a huge thing, right? Of course, and, and of they've course. They've got TV people. They've got tour people, and like you know, there's there's a lot of pieces of bread to butter for them. And then and then they get to what is just like either the sweetest candy bar they've ever tasted. Or a gigantic log of shit they have to eat. Well, uh, yeah. So at any rate, they uh, they, they and got it, a lot it of is, notes. It is Schrodinger's brown oh, really? thing. They do not know what it is until they put it in their mouths. Well, and 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 also they don't know what it is they are hoping for because like like they're getting notes from a you know a figurative god yeah, in yeah, their universe. Yeah, 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 it was like yeah. this is all I've ever wanted. He's seen my art yeah, and has notes. Yeah, yeah. But then but then I've been handed the stone tablets. They're like. The fuck does this mean? Yeah, oh, <laughs> like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like, uh, <clears throat> uh, I, I don't really know how to process what just happened. It, it was fascinating. So, I mean, like, like, let's just say this because the notes won't make sense unless you've seen the show. But they give them notes, and then we're talking to them afterward. And I think it is. How Dylan would you Moran. describe their reaction to the notes? Oh, they were nothing but giddy. And then, meanwhile. <laughs> Meanwhile, Justin and I, because we're jackals, are like, hey, fuck those guys. <laughs> Who are they to give you notes? <laughs> You're Auntie Donna. <laughs> like... <laughs> All right. All I'm going to say is that there was literally a point in which they repeated to me the notes that these two, and again, comedy legends Gods. have forgotten Gods. more about comedy than either Brian and I will ever know in our lives. And at some point between all the Guinness, <laughs> I just look, uh, 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 I think it was Mark from Auntie Donna in the eyes. And I just say, I mean, man, comedy's changed a lot since the seventies. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're like, maybe it's time for a third <laughs> Testament. You ever think of that? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, we don't need to sit around and sit and look at these stone tablets. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think like we were just so in love with it. And, and, and again, like, like the comments that they gave, I, I think they're, were, they're, they're were all good. They're all good. And it was valuable. And it was it was it was just amazing to be there witnessing a lifetime achievement moment for exactly. people who are so no, talented no, no. and yeah. so good. They yeah. were amazing. Uh, uh, you know, Eric Idle is literally a god, uh, and, and uh, Dylan, Dylan McSee is uh, amazing as well. Uh, I mean, but also, like, some of that advice was kind of booty. Like, just <laughs> kind of words. booty. <laughs> put put that on your booty. tombstone. <laughs> some, of, some of that advice, kind of booty. <laughs> yeah. I mean, listen, there's some of the Ten Commandments that are kind of booty, right? Like, you know... <laughs> Like it's fine. It's fine. Everything becomes booty at some point. Uh no, I but there was definitely part of me that just wished I could in real life play the uh uh the YouTube clip of the Big Lebowski saying uh yeah, well, you know, that's just like your opinion, man. <laughs> uh no, but it was it was amazing, man, to be there at that moment uh and to to have them so clearly experiencing a life Achievement. It, it 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 was one of the most precious special things ever, and and we will always owe a debt to the Auntie Donna boys, and they'll always be uh, brothers in arms. Uh, but in the meantime, oh yeah, you know who else is brothers in arms? Christ. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know who else else is a brother in arms? Diamond time. <laughs> That's right. If you head on over to diamondclub.reddit.com, you can participate in Diamond Time. You'll find the sticky post right at the top. That's our opportunity to shout out your projects right from the Diamond Club themselves. Right now, it looks like we only have two submissions for this week. So uh, this you might want to refresh. Oh, I might. No, 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 no. I got three. How about this one? We're going to go ahead and start off here with Godo PPL. Greetings from Norway. Longtime listener, first time caller. My name is Frank, a.k.a. Godo PPL. And I've been following you since the early NSFW and been a Patreon since the start. And I still am. Good for you, boyo. So I lost my job a half a year ago. Fuck. And I seized the opportunity to start developing an app idea that I still have been thinking about. Awesome. And I've been waiting to go live in the Google Play Store and I need users and feedback. I was hoping to get some exposure from you guys and some feedback from the Diamond Club friends. It is a free app. It's called Sneak Peek. Link 
Oh, geez, let's get it. Uh, YOLO420.com slash sneak peek swag is where you can get it. The iOS version is under development and will hopefully be out by the end of the year. I'm hoping this could be my full-time job in the future, and if you guys can make it true, I might even plant a Diamond Club Easter egg if I find oh, a cool way to do so. Yeah. Huh. Tips are welcome in the feedback section on the amp. That is Diamond Club love to the fullest. You guys are awesome. All of you. Cheers, Frank. P.S. If you wish, you could also donate to paypal.me slash agenthratom. A-G-E-N-T-R-A-N-D-O-M. Uh, Aurora Lee, 1013, says, Well, ahoy there, Diamond Group. I'm writing to sh- share my crowdfunding campaign with you. I'm Aurora Lee, the mostly silent but, mo- mo- but long-time chat realmer. We're not listening to Diamond Club shows, but also sometimes when I am. I'm a photographer here in Nova Scotia, Canada. Next April. <laughs> April. <laughs> Broden. <laughs> April Broden. Broden. <laughs> Mark. Zach. <clears throat> I'll travel to Europe to tour and photograph several World War One and Two battlefields and memorials, and take part in ceremonies marking the centenary of the Battle of Vimy Ridge. Vimy Ridge? <clears throat> Vi- it's got to be Vimy Ridge. There's yeah, only one M. There is only one M. Vimy Ridge. Oh, right. Vimy. Uh, this important battle in Canadian history just happens to take place in the same year as our 150th birthday. That's Canada's 150th, not mine, LOL. This seems like a great opportunity to share my experience on the tour by putting on a photography exhibition when I return. But exhibits costs money, y'all, and I can barely afford the trip as it is. I'm looking for help to support with expenses. In return, I'm giving out photograph rewards like cards, calendars, Etc. Check it out at yolo420.com slash vimy swag. That's V I M Y swag. Thanks. P.S. The project is all in Canadian dollars, so pledged levels will be cheaper for many of you than it looks. Woot. Awesome. And of course, it is Ezra TV. Good day, Diamond Club ruffians. Amos here for a little shameless plug. If you know me from the random audio clips I've sent to the jury show about getting high in the bathtub or pooping standing up, this is what is a weekly podcast my best friend Brendan and I have been recording for the last four months. Our main bit is called Snark Tank, where we pitch to others. Uh, other hosts a business proposition. It usually turns into shenanigans. The show is extremely silly, and we have a ton of fun making it. If it sounds interesting to you, then you would love to have some fresh, or we would love to have some fresh ears, give some feedback on it. Any feedback is welcome. The show is called This Is What, and it is on SoundCloud, iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, and all the other shit. The show has no connection to ISIS. <laughs> So you have nothing to worry about when it comes to that. P.S. We'd love to have guests on the show to pitch their ideas. So if anyone's interested, email us at this is what show at gmail.com. And the SoundCloud link is at YOLO420.com slash business pro swag. Yo, buddy, did you see the new uh, Mr. Plinkett review? A little controversial these days. What do you mean? Who me? No. Oh, the blanket <laughs> review. Uh, oh, I don't. I don't see what's controversial about it outside of the fact that it had uh, featured our very own Anthony Carboni in it. Well, uh, friends of this show had some strong opinions of it. Wait, hold on. Where, where, where? What's going on? Uh, what's going on? There was a a recurring guest on this show hmm. who I won't name hmm. but rhymes with Schmikey Schmooman. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay. Who does who makes uh, a a a very uh huge point to do YouTube reviews that are about things that are great about movies mm-hmm. as opposed to are negatives about movies. Who again is kind of diametrically uh, diametrically opposed to what the Plinket reviews are, sure. which is reveling in you know the the dirt sure. of of art, right? Um, but seem to have some fairly strong opinions on that review. Um, 
man, un- unless you're privy to something that he didn't put on tw- Twitter, I mean, all he said no, was that I mean, I mean, he's I not in it. His biggest thing on Twitter, I think that is like, you know, that's effed up and, and shouldn't happen was the jokes about asexuals. Because, you know, he about a year ago wrote like a very personal essay about coming out as asexual. And I guess he found it personal. I mean, I, I only say I guess because I can only read so much into 140 characters that he found, you know, the jokes in that review or other reviews from Plinkett about asexuality to be distasteful, which, you know, this is right. Oh, that's interesting. I totally missed that part of the review. Uh, I mean, I'm certainly on Mikey's side on that review uh, on that issue. Huh. Interesting. Uh, Here's what I'll say about the Plinkett review. Uh, Number one, I loved it because I love literally just any time that voice happens, right? But I do find that review to be fairly unnecessary. And I wonder if at some point the brain trust of Red Letter Media ever has the irony cross their their psyche that they did a totally extraneous extension of a well-beloved brand almost solely because it would get eyeballs and views and therefore dollars i uh, uh, you got any gum (laughs) (laughs) i mean because like listen those prequel reviews can right they are untouchable they are they are exquisite and final uh, uh uh just disembowelments of movies and, and arguments that are made better than anyone who could have ever in a bar said the prequels suck. Sure, right? sure, sure. Like, um, just perfect. Word for word, perfect, right? But The Force Awakens was kind of a good movie. Well, <laughs> like, it was, I, I, it I was think a they, good, fun movie. I think and, like, they, they that. do a good job of half explaining that. But at the end of that review, I'm just like, did this review need to happen? Well... I thought they did a pretty good job of couching everything as an indictment of this specifically this this ring theory thing. Like that... then they should have just done a thing about the ring theory. Yeah, I don't. But but, know. but that's I guess that's that's the that's the irony that I I would like to highlight is that they started as highlighting the elements of an extension of a brand that didn't need to happen. Right. Right. And they could have just done Plinkett destroys the ring theory. Um, yeah, that's true. And and they didn't. They wanted well, to but, make but, it about. But also, I think he gave a decent review of the Force Awakens in in that he said like, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Stuck to the fundamentals. It retold the stories. Also, let's talk about this larger trend of the soft reboot and all, all that stuff. I mean, I, I I thought it was pretty good all told. No, it was great. It was great. Also. I mean, could have been another thing. It could have just been like, hey, let's talk about soft reboots. Like, you know, because I mean, if, if it was by the way, it right now, been... right now, I just want to let you know, I know that we are in a serious conversation, but right now, Will Harris is slithering toward me like a lizard. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't doubt it. With his fact, mouth agape. <laughs> let's give you guys your personal time. <clears throat> uh, thank you so much, Justin Robert Young, for joining us all the way from jolly old England. Uh, yes. Meanwhile, more importantly, uh, Mike, where can we give you money? Um, <laughs> come to my house. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. My nipple just literally got bit by Will Harris. <laughs> it's, it's, I believe all of this, and I'm so glad we're audio only at this point. <laughs> Not. All right, uh, Mike, what's uh, what's up? So uh, yeah, you know, I, so I do. I'm doing a lot. So um, you can uh, you can uh, you can definitely follow me on Patreon. Um, because that's where that's where patreon.com like, slash get set go and and i just so this this record that i actually actually just wrote it, it's uh well, not just wrote but the, I, I started i started in january i wrote maybe 60 or 70 songs and i and every iteration i would give them out to the fan to my patreon people you know like here guys go this is the music then then when i had you know 60 70 songs sure 
I culled them down to like the, the 30 that seemed to be, I, I was playing these shows, I'd be playing these songs for, for my Twitch followers, my mm. Twitch audience. And they were, they were engaging and reacting. And, and then I, so I, I saw which ones were the favorites. So I drilled those down into like, you know, 15, 16, 17 songs. And then I started doing studio ver versions of those 15, 16. So the entire album making process was like this sort of give and take between my Patreon people and my Twitch people and, and all of it. And it was, it was awesome. I'd never done that. I, I had in, in the early two, 2010, I did some Ustream stuff. Um, and that was, and it was fun, but I, I just used that to vet some songs. I didn't continue the process. So, right. so, so I'm, I'm just now about to go back into the writing studio and start, because there's nothing like having an album out and having a 40 or 50 songs I've done nothing with that just begs for me to write like, more music. You need yeah. To be writing yeah. 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 I need, yeah course, I need more. I need more. Cause I, but it is, I mean, that's the thing is, is it like, yeah, if I'm not, if I'm not writing new music, I'm, then I just, I'm, I'm broken. You know, like, I don't know what you're a beautiful snowflake. Uh, in fact, actually, could we, could we possibly tempt you into, uh, you know, uh, t uh, playing us out? Yeah. All right. So, so I, so I have, so I tried to make sure that there was a balance of like humorous songs on the album as well as like, but, but unfortunately I, I don't really remember the lyrics for, for any of the humorous ones. So, um, <laughs> make them up, uh, make them up. So Say something, yeah, let me, something let me, funny. Let me, let me, let me see. Let me see if I can. Uh, right, uh, uh, Brian, is there anything else that you need to, to, to say before we go out with the Mike TV song? Uh, yeah, dude, real quick. Uh, Modern Rogue T-shirts. They're badass. Modern Rogue T-shirts. Just go to uh, Scam Stuff and look at t uh, t type in T-shirts and find them. They look amazing. They're also, badass. Also, October is uh, the Diamond Club Project Month. Yes. Uh, check out diamondclub.reddit.com uh, and you'll see a post about it. Stop watching stuff. Start making stuff this month, and we're gonna look at the stuff in November. Do it. 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 Yes, I'm gonna do something. In fact, uh, uh, one of it, one of those things might be the second debate mini expansion. We did a mini expansion <laughs> for the first debate for the contender, and we are going to do one for the second uh, debate. You can find it at bit.ly/debatepack. Uh, right now, if you go do it, it, might go to the old one. But if you're listening to this later in the week, then it'll go to the new one. Uh, that is about the uh, debate that'll happen over the weekend. And uh, man, if you heard that last debate, imagine what's going to happen. I bet you someone's going to call someone the C word and we're going to put it on a card <laughs> just for you. Go ahead and check it out. Bit.ly slash debate pack. And if you want the full game, get it at con uh, the contender dot us. All right, done and done. Take us out, sir. Mm. All right, this one I'm. I, like I said, I might fuck out the lyrics, but cocksuckers and motherfuckers and all you assholes too. Little pricks with great big guns shooting little kids in school. I want to be rich. I want to be well. I want to be whole. But rather be somewhere else. Is there somewhere else I can go? Oh. I know that I can't get away from these fucked up things and these fucked up lies and these fucked up dreams and my fucked up life and my fucked up heart Oh, it's falling apart and I Oh, I wish that I could shoot somebody dead Oh, I wish I could drop the bar all I need is a comet to drive to the earth All I need is everyone to feel my hurt Douchebags and know-it-alls and everybody in between Rich fucks and dilettantes and every hipster in the scene I want to blow up, I want to be big, I want to survive but I'd rather be somewhere else, can I please leave here tonight? Oh, I know that I can't get away From these fucked up things And these fucked up lies And these fucked up dreams And my fucked up life And my fucked up heart Oh, it's falling apart Goodbye Oh, I wish that I could shoot somebody dead Oh, I wish I could drop the bomb All I need is a comet to drive into the earth All I need is everyone to heal my hurt Oh, 
It's so damn hard to keep this up, to keep this anger going. But if I let it go, go, let it go, I gotta cry, I gotta weep a river. And no, oh, what do I do? What do I do? I oh, said, what do I do? Something like that. So do I do? I want to be well, I want to be whole I want to blow up, I want something else I really want it now I want to be in feast uh, ah, And then there's some there's some more stuff you know, it's, 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 yeah. fire! <laughs> Thank you guys See you next Tuesday Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program <laughs>